Welcome to our first American Duchess live stream in a very, very long time. Um, I am Abby. And I'm Lauren. And we are here to talk to you today about our fall collection for 2017 uh, for American Duchess. And we are super duper excited about it. Um, they've been a long time coming. We've been doing a lot of <laughs> development, yeah. product development over the year after we survived the book. The book. Um, so we're here to talk to you today about the pre-order that's opened up yesterday and will be going on until August 10th and uh, the shoes that we've developed for you all to buy up and enjoy and love and wear to bits and pieces. Um, so I guess we're going to go technically almost in chronological kind of, order. Yeah, kind of. Uh, so we're going to start today with the dash woods. Dash woods. The dash woods. Sleep bar. Yeah, no, yeah, no, That's and a terrible mood, actually. I don't know what that was. Uh, <laughs> so we've actually, um, there we go. We have them in black on black and then tan and on brown as well. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so what, well, basically, like, this was a lot of conversations between the both of us mm -hmm. because we realized that our read and see selection of shoes is kind of lacking, to be really honest. We were, we're completely aware of that. And we love read and see shoes, but the trick with read and see shoes is that they're really, they're really they're unique. Like basic. They're basic. Yeah. And what makes them unique is usually, like, the colors or the decorations and things like that. But we wanted to make a good, basic shoe for read and see that is beautiful and comfortable and just unique enough, but also sturdy enough that you all would feel comfortable going to an event like Jane Austen Fest and walking around in the dirt and the gravel and the rocks and running up and down the hill going, Willie me! Willie me! Because that happened. That happened. <laughs> um, so, so we talked and Lauren and I bantered back and forth. What do we like? What do we not like? And what we realized is that we really like our foxed boots that we put out. And it seems that you all like our foxed boots too. And so we went down this rabbit hole of let's look at foxed slippers. Mm -hmm. from they, the, they were actually really popular. Yeah, from the Read to See time period. So that way you have the modern security and comfort mentality of leather, but you have the delicate nature of fabric as well. So we wanted to really try to meet both of those needs. Um, so what we came up with was the dashwood. Um, the embroidery on the toe is actually copied off an original pair mm -hmm. uh, that you probably have seen floating around Pinterest. So it's very delicate, uh, very attractive, very pretty. Um, it just makes it that little bit of extra interest because, yeah. I mean, let's be honest, if it's just a black belly, what? Why would you buy them from us? Why would you buy them from us? So we did a little bit, something a little bit different, mm -hmm. um, but still versatile. I wore both of Persian. the colors to Jane Austen Festival. This actually uh, this, looks pretty clean in here. I didn't wear that one. It wasn't, oh, that's our that. sample. <laughs> um, and I found them really, really comfortable. When I first put them on, they were tight. Mm -hmm. They should be tight. And then they broke in super fast. Mm -hmm. And they were like, it was like wearing butter. Mm -hmm. uh, what I like about these is that the... The foxing, what we mean by foxing is the leather bits that are added onto here. You often see this in mid-Victorian, but it does go all the way back into the 1790s. And that's for durability's sake. So you would have this lovely, you know, sateen slap, slapper, <laughs> sateen slipper, um, reinforced at the toe and the heel where you would get the most rubbing. But they wanted it mm -hmm. to be pretty, so yeah. they would do two-tone. Um, you get them all the way back to the 1790s, but we've done a lot of really pointed toe shoes so yeah. we thought we'd give a little love to the almond proper shoes. regency you know the almond toe or the rounder toe and it's still very very flattering on the mm -hmm. foot it's not like a big round bulbous no gross toe it's very elegantly it, pointed yeah. but without being like like pickles, pointy pickle pokers pickle. <laughs> that's so funny to all pickle, pickle pokers <laughs> Um, so, <laughs> Pickle pokers. So yeah, um, yeah, you wore both colorways at Jane Austen Fest. I wore the brown and tan on Sunday when I was dressed not as a Tripoli princess, but as an English woman, very respectable. Yep. And, they, um, and they were really comfortable. Yeah, super comfortable. So cotton sateen, foxed mm -hmm. with calf leather, real leather soles, and then they have linen lining with and insoles. Historic stamp on the inside. That's right. Too. So they're a great shoe and you're really going to love them. Mm -hmm. We've also kept the price really reasonable for you, uh, yeah. knowing that we, we don't want you to have to buy 
cheap ballet flats at Walmart. We want you to have nice, interesting shoes. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to dress them up, put a little bow on the toe, yep, put a little buckle on there. There's a little bit of room mm -hmm. with the sateen here that you can put uh, a clip on for a bow yep. or a rosette or something like that to help customize them. And the black ones, honestly, these look these really cute with jeans. jeans. Like, are you kidding? I wore, because I wanted to break in mine, and so I just started wearing them for like the week before, so that way I wasn't slipping and sliding all over the grass <laughs> at Jane Austen Fest. Um, and I just wore them around town, and everyone was like, those shoes are so cute. Where did you get those? Like, wow, well, oh, American Duchess. Mm -hmm. So, yay. Yeah, so um, you can order yeah. these right now for $20 mm -hmm. off. So super good price. Yep. Um, $75. Mm -hmm. With twenty dollars off, the lowest we've ever that. offered yeah. anything. <laughs> um, and they're they're unique and they're they're really mm -hmm. comfortable. You're really gonna like them. Yeah. So yeah. so those are the dashwoods. 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 Let's talk about <laughs> these. Those sweet peppers. We've done a couple new Edwardians. Mm -hmm. um, we do love you, Edwardian gals, and you little Vitas. So mm -hmm. we thought that we would do a new last and heel shape. And we're so excited about. Look how these. beautiful this shoe is. And it really does look as good on the foot as you think it does. And yeah. we will show pictures of that later. Yeah. So, Moliere. Moliere is one of the, sometimes we name a shoe by the type that it was, mm -hmm. was in the period. So, for instance, Tango Boots were called Tango Boots, and we named them Tango Boots. The Moliere was a type of shoe. Mm -hmm. So, we thought that's kind of the perfect name. It was somebody's name. What Moliere means is this big tongue on the front of these shoes. It's really uh. easier to see it. <laughs> On the, Sorry, uh, weirdo. <laughs> on the ivory. Um, yeah. It was historicism in action. The Edwardians mm -hmm. loved historic you know, throwbacks, so they were throwing back to the 17th century, hence the name Moliere. Hashtag TBTs. What? Not new. <laughs> throwback Thursday, <laughs> Edwardian style. Um, so you have this big tongue, mm -hmm. and the characteristic tongue with the strap that goes over with the button, mm -hmm. that's really quintessential to this style. Now, what I like about this is that this is all it's the way functional. through. Uh, it doesn't tighten the shoe, but it's there to mm -hmm. put a buckle on. Mm -hmm. So if you have or are thinking about acquiring uh, some Edwardian shoe clips, like the kind that have the black or the ivory yeah. behind them, marcasite buckles, that kind of thing, you just hook them right on there, and then you mm -hmm. have... Cromwell's, another Cromwell. type of shoe. So it's kind Cromwell. of a combo shoe. Molière, Crolliers, Momwells. Me, Momwells. <laughs> Me. Uh, but the, the fun, really mm -hmm. most beautiful part of this shoe, I think, is the heel. It's two and a quarter inches. It looks higher, but it's, it's, it's 2.25 inches. And I would call it a pinier heel. Pinier was a shoemaker at the turn of the century who had a very distinct heel shape based on a Louis heel, a very kind of raked in at the back. Um, and I, of course, we're not going to call them an actual pinier heel, but that's what inspired this shape. It's like the Seabury heel, but it's shorter. And it's just, I mean, those lines, they just make your feet look mm -hmm. so, so beautiful. These are really comfortable. They come in black and ivory. Mm -hmm. The ivory is Diable. And just take, take the button off first. Yes. And you're really, really, really going to love them. They mm -hmm. work for anywhere from about 1900 all the way to 1925. Yeah. You might be able to get away with a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. And we are definitely going to be using this heel and last shape for some earlier 18th century designs. It's very versatile and comfortable mm -hmm. and well balanced. Yes. You're going to love these. Moliere's, again, they're in the Edwardian section. Mm -hmm. $20 off. Yay. Yay! Awesome. It's beautiful. As I cover up my favorite part of the shoe. <laughs> Look at, buy the shoe. Mm. Buy the shoe. No, it's oh, like, I'm gonna hide them. so beautiful. Sonna says hello. <laughs> Hi, Sonna. Guys, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comment box. We are live and off the cuff right now. Always. They will come up on our screen and we will answer them. Try to answer them. Don't ask too hard of questions. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask math questions. <laughs> uh, we'll not. fail. Yeah. We'll sit there and look at each other. Uh, that would be embarrassing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the last boot uh, that you're all waiting for is the Colette. Colette. This sexy baby. Sexy. Look at this sexy boot. baby. Oh, she's so sexy. <laughs> so um, nice. So those of you who have followed us for a while will recognize Colette mm -hmm. as an exclusive that we mm -hmm. ran. Usually exclusives are fanciful shoes that we don't feel that we could sell 200 of in our, our line. But when we saw the sample for this, 
it was just like it's so oh awesome. my gosh and they were so popular that we decided to move them mm-hmm. forward to our regular lines mm-hmm. so these are available there's 200 of them available Mm-hmm. And they're available for a much Let's lower a price. And in here, so you guys can see the cutout. Then they would be as an exclusive, and yeah. you'll be able to order them from stock. Mm-hmm. They're based on a, an original. You could buy these from a catalog. Um, we have so we have an original pair in a collection, and we also have an advertisement. Thank yeah. you for that. Um, really, really cool. And that, what's nice about these mm-hmm. is that they're super fancy, but they're also really practical. Yeah. This is a two-inch heel. It's the same heel that's on Gibson and Londoner. Yeah. It's got this little little cap toe, so there's sort of a little business mixed with pleasure yeah. there <laughs> in Colette. We thought Colette go. was an apt name yeah. for them. Um, yeah. And again, $20 off mm-hmm. when you order And they are August 10th. functional button boots, so you will need a button hook to get these on. Um, it's There's no hidden zippers or anything, so they are actual button boots with the straps. Mm -hmm. We've also made sure that the tabs themselves have a little bit of extra room. So if you do need to adjust the buttons for whatever reason, you can do that. And don't be scared to do that either. We've we've had some customers who are a little worried about doing that. But when you look at original boots, because you've noticed this, and even the ones that are owned in our collection, the buttons are always adjusted. Always. You can always see that. That kind of evidence doesn't disappear. So don't be scared to do it. It's the way you're going to make your boots fit tight. And these do need to fit tight. tight. Mexy. So we have erred on the side of tightness. It's what boot mm-hmm. manufacturers in the period did. They would make them smaller to look more elegant and, you know, sitting on the store shelf. And then people would let them out. Up until this point, we usually make them bigger and expect people to take them in. But sometimes that can result in fit, uh, issues. fit issues. So we've made ours sized according to my legs. Mm -hmm. I have bird legs. Mm -hmm. They fit tight, and we want you to adjust the buttons. Now, we have a tab under here that allows to do that. So you can let them out a good, at least a good half inch. You can take Mm -hmm. them in at least a good half inch. So please, 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 don't be afraid to do that. We have tutorials. Yeah, and don't be, don't worry if you're, like, I have larger calves. I'm not bird-legged. And so the boots actually fit me pretty well. So don't. Be worried. Don't be afraid. It's okay. Sarah Reeve asks, are the Moliere's comfortable for people with a high instep? Why, yes. I have a high mm-hmm. instep. And um, so this is interesting because I was trying to show you on here. There's these little, it's like cut out under here so that it's this tongue doesn't like press down on the instep. So your instep is allowed to flex with the tongue or the or vice versa. The tongue flexes with your instep. I have a very high instep and we do all the seven and a half fitting on me, uh, which means sometimes the straps are too loose for normal people. But if you have high instep and you like American Duchess shoes, <laughs> you're, you're golden. You're very good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We have a question. I think she's asking about the Colette Colette's. Mm-hmm. How skinny wide are the ankles and the instep? Will these be too loose for a narrow foot low instep? Um, I was okay when it came to the mm-hmm. flat because I have a low instep. I don't have a skinny ankle, but I have a low instep, and it was okay. You could probably tighten it up a little bit because we do do a lot of fitting, and Lauren has a high instep, but it, it didn't. It was fine. It wasn't it super look, loose. Yeah, it didn't look super loose. And no. again, you've got play there to be able to move the button. Yeah. And we do want to encourage everyone to move the buttons. That's how the Edwardians fit and Victorians to fit their button shoes and yeah. boots. And that's what we need to be doing because we don't do elastic and zippers anymore. Or, at, well, we never did zippers. No. Um, it's just one of those experience, experiential mm-hmm. uh, things. Just like using the button hook. Yeah. You're going to have to adjust them. And that being said, these straps are going to stretch a bit. Mm-hmm. For those of you with wider calves mm-hmm. or ankles, yeah. you can work on that to stretch them. You do want it to fit kind of like a corset for the foot. But obviously, mm-hmm. if you're like bulging out between the straps. They're going to be a little bit too tight. But it shouldn't happen. Um, yeah. And I think with my ankle, yeah, it was fine. Yeah. The skinny ankles, because you got skinny ankles. Skinny ankle, I don't girl. Have skinny ankles, so I'm little sparrow legs over here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's our fall collection. That's our fall collection. Those of you who are wondering about, are we restocking our most popular designs? <laughs> All of them. Yes. Um, <laughs> that's one of the reasons why we didn't have a lot of new stuff this year is because it's been a major restock year. So we are, for this next 
shipment coming in. I can never September. keep all of them straight. I'm it's always like, which ones are we getting? We're getting all the Kensingtons back. Yeah. So Gibson's in black and ivory, mm-hmm. and Astoria in black. In black. Yeah, and we've already restocked Londoner, Londoner, Morals, Manhattans, mm-hmm. and we still have more to do. So those of you who were yeah. hoping that Tavistock was going to come back this year, <laughs> unfortunately, we got a little bug. It'll be next year, but we have some really, really good ideas for new boots for next year, uh, for some variations on some 18th century shoes, for a little bit more foray into mid-Victorian and Civil War. So we are excited, and we hope that you're excited. Mm-hmm. If you want any of these, now is definitely the time, because mm-hmm. we are doing $20 off the retail price through August 10th. Mm-hmm. After that, you'll still be able to order them. You just won't get that fly $20 off. Yeah. And, and you then, really, for the dash yeah, especially, you cannot beat that price. It's awesome. It's like um, 75 bucks for these? Psh, good times. Excellent price point. And then we have shipment um, in mid to late September. Mm-hmm. So we've tried to cut the wait time down quite a bit um, they are actually all in production now so stock is limited in each size so don't mm-hmm. wait if you really want something especially if you're like a six a six and a half yeah. or an 11 yeah you want to pre-order mm-hmm. okay well it feels good to be back in the live stream guys we've missed you we, we know have you've missed, missed you. us you we've, we've heard the feedback especially from my mother my mom and She's people calling us on the phone. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully we'll be back doing these more as well. We do have some travel coming up. We are going to be at Costume College next week. <gasps> oh, my God. Ah! Ah! We're just thinking of all the things we have yet to sew and fit. And our Prep weekend's, for. weekend's a little bit busy. So if you're going to Costume College, <laughs> please come and say hello. 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 Um, and if you are an owner of a kicker roomie... Kigurumi Nobody Sunday. knows what that is except no, Caitlin. No, that's not Lillian. true. We had okay. plenty of Kigurumi lovers the last, when we did our live stream about RuffleCon. So no. K- a Kigurumi Sunday. Kigurumi if Sunday. If you're going to costume college and you have a Kigurumi, wear it on Sunday because that's what we're doing. Yes. And Hallelujah. Everyone loves a good saggy crotch on Sunday. <laughs> Anyway, I'm Lauren. <laughs> and I'm Abby. We're from American Duchess. We love you. AmericanDuchess.com. If you have any questions, go ahead. Leave them in the comment box below. Our video won't be live, but we'll see the comments and we'll be able to answer them yeah. with other comments. And uh, we're always available. So, like, always, like, midnight, like, the middle of the night. Like, you'll never be that, able to get That probably is actually her answering because I'm usually asleep by that point in time. And I'm like, night, night, y'all. Just kidding. Don't call me in the middle of the night. Do it. It'd be hilarious. Love you guys. And we'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>